Chill it out. I don't think that's what that deck wants to do, even if you are getting a couple damage in. Golgari, oh, Golgari absolutely wants to do that. Well, like Golgari, 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 yeah, it, it's, it's fine not. in Golgari. Yeah, I like it a lot better, better in Golgari, also, yeah. All right. yeah. It's way better in Golgari than it is in Rakdos. See, Golgari wants Golgari to build up that mana. About the Rakdos deck. So let, let the Golgari people have their moment in the sun. Boom. Yeah, that's fair. <laughs> yeah, Stabboon's better in Golgari. I still think it's overrated, but it, like, because like, when you first pick a Stabboon, you don't know that you're Golgari. Yeah, it's good in both. You don't know that it's going to fit your, like, it's good in Golgari when you're, like, sitting behind the the trolls and the walls and the Indrix I mean, and the... It's just, are you, so, I mean, it's generally the consensus best common, but you're just saying now that it's bad, that it's just an actively bad card. No, I'm not saying it's that. I, I'm saying it's a good card. I'm just it's saying it's, no, like, it's not like a first pick over over the world kind of common. It's, I will it's first like pick it over a lot of shit, though. Like, I don't know what I wouldn't first pick It's it a over. fine first pick. I just think it's overrated because I think people will first blindly first pick it there are a lot of people out there just yeah. first pick it over the world without giving it much thought. I mean, that's true. You can't pick it that highly, but I mean, it's still a can be I, like, I mean, I've dealt I've dealt 20 damage with it before. For example, yeah. versus like do, do you guys like it over um the black instant uncommon uh ultimate launch price. what what? Ultimate price? Uh yeah. Probably. See, like I I slam ultimate price over it and and not even think twice about it. But, you, like, uh, you might, I don't know, ultimate prize. I don't have a lot of ultimate prize. I haven't played with it very much, so. I don't know. There's there's some, but then there's some stuff where I'm like, I just want his thing to be smaller and to keep hurting him. <laughs> <laughs> it makes me feel good. Uh, That's because Lover Crew's. I mean, to be yeah, honest, I, I do love Lover Crew. I'd probably take Centaur Healer over it. I love that card unrealistically. No way. I have no, prob I have no problem admitting that. I love that card. Uh, it's always. It's always awesome. You know what card I love like... that I miss when the set started off and people were just like wheeling them? Fucking Ogre Jailbreaker. That card is so solid. Yeah, why does that card not get any love people, at all? People seem to think that you're not going to have a gate in your deck or like not see it. I'm like, I, I rarely play a deck that doesn't have three gates in it. Yeah. yeah. Like, Even that's weird for me. Fine. Yeah, two gates is fine. It's a 4-4 defender if not. Like, a 4-4 defender is great. It's a great card. When you're stab wounding people, yeah. yeah. When you're stab wounding yeah. guys or three three centaurs are coming at your head, fuck it. <laughs> Whenever I yep. draft Golgari, I try to grab a couple, but I just don't play it in any of my other decks. Yeah, right. Um, it's probably unless a there's some four for color decks, it's still good. Yeah, I, I mean would. the thing is, like in Rakdos, like you're not generally taking the guild gates high enough, but no. but even then, if you, I'm really happy to run it in Rakdos if I if I did pick up two gates or three gates. Now, uh, that's good. What do you call it, Azorius? Is my least favorite guild. I've been nonstop drafting Azorius lately. I will really? splash but, but that's Azorius because of the all day. Uh, ethereal armors. It's the best deck for ethereal armor yeah. by far. I will splash Azorius like crazy, like multiple dramatic rescues and shit. But aside from that, I just like unless I got those rares, I ain't touching it. Fairy Invaders? Have you tried this Fairy Invaders card out with your arresters? You, good, and, dude. I can never your, find enough um, arresters. You you mean fairy imposter? Fairy imposter? Right? Oh yeah, yeah, not invaders, imposters. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 There's not enough. The there's not enough triggers for it. What are you gonna pick? How many things have a rest? It the, gets rid of stab everything. Wound. The world in in Bam. detain. Azorius. You mean detain? Detain. Whatever. Yeah, yeah. Azorius. Yeah, yeah. Or, there's Azorius arrester. Yeah, there's the like, card goes super late. Some of the blue then, ones. Then like seller of songbirds. Then you have. Ooh, like, I get to recast seller of songbirds. Uh, it's, it's just pure yeah. value. Yeah. Value. And then that's a backup Selling plan. All then you have, the like, birds. No, <laughs> void Azorius wielder. Sucks. I like soul sworn spirit. That's the only like uh detain card I get really excited about. Sky Knight. Sky Knight is which one? Oh, okay. Well, that one. Yeah, Liev Sky Knight and Soul Sworn Spirit are both like baller hot. But everything okay. else sucks. No, they're all they're all insane. The charm's not even that good. Really? The charm's fine. I disagree with that. I think I, I'm okay, well, to come around of, on the charm. I think the charm's actually worse than just the bounce spell gain to life. Oh, absolutely. I would much rather have Dramatic Rescue than this card. Yeah. I yeah. think it's better. Just it You'd rather remove a blocker than put it on top of their deck. Yeah. You just, just get more beating. damage through and stuff. But, yeah, the but charms like, are all pretty... I, I guess Selesnya Charm and Is It Charm are both really good. The other ones are just like not useful at all. Well, Azorius no, Charm. They're still useful. That's oh, no, not I true. Mean, they're all useful. Unplayable. 
Rakdos, yeah, Rakdos, Rakdos one's is unplayable. Awful, but... I've never run the Golgari charm. It's that that one's fine. There's nothing wrong with that That's one. Fine. I'll Josh bring it and in I Played that to great effect before. Oh yeah. <laughs> I guess now that enchantments are getting played. <laughs> Once we read the we card. Were... Josh and I, yeah, we were playing. Uh, Josh and I would do it. I was skyping with Josh on his stream, and our opponent had uh, what's a collective blessing that everything gets plus three plus three that he controls. Yeah. yeah. And we were like playing. We had Gogari Charm, and we had like a bunch of big. Th what the fuck did we have? Like terrace worms or something like that? Like just deck. <laughs> yeah, that was the double. Like a pile of garbage. <laughs> but uh, well, double terrace worm. You say that, but I think we also had two in the sideboard or something like that. Yeah, it's something that like we, <laughs> we we sided in. But anyway, like we're <laughs> we're talking about like trying to trick him into some situation where he, like, animates his Golgari charm and, like, blocks and blocks, and we Reanimates regenerate him. all the guys and, like, blow him out. Blah, blah. And the chat's just like, dude, like, read Golgari charm. And, like, <laughs> oh. Just, oh, it destroys an enchantment. <laughs> well, I guess we win easily. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah. I, think it, I well, guess Azorius... Uh, I feel like yeah. Rogue's Pass is probably going really late, too. Uh, the the land I've never run yeah. it, but I, I lose never to it run a lot. It either. It I've lost like, to it. Yeah. It seems like I yeah, only I, run that. In I Rakdos. can never fit it into my decks because I'm like. Yeah, I'm always splashing I, I, three colors, and I'm not gonna. Yeah, waste a it's slot not on really. It. It's it, you. You have to be like the greediest bastard in the world to run it. I would run it deck. in straight Rakdos, but I think ninety percent of the time I'd rather splash something. I feel like it's even very good in Selesnya, just where you yeah, have some that's guys who are trying to push damage through. I would play like it an eight eight vigilant. Or oh. a five four Golgari long legs or yeah, a jailbreaker, works. like any random big creature, it just puts them on a clock where you can just dirtle up um uh, turtle up all your guys and just defend and they are on a four turn clock. Good luck. So I guess Azorius makes up for being the worst guild in my mind by having Skymark Rock. Because that card is just absurd. You also have Azorius uh, Justicar. Phantom monsters have already, or they've always been pretty. Oh, good. let's fight about Soul Tithe because you guys didn't. Some people don't like Soul Tithe. I love Soul Tithe. Really, it's good. I'm it's, when I get like it's an not eight good if you want to be pushing through damage, but it, it's good. At I mean, like, it's good. Like in turns one through three, it's like either they're not playing more threats or they like lose a guy. Yeah, you trade it for their early drop. It's fine, and sometimes you trade it for their five drop, and it's fine. Yeah, exactly. Like I've had people like drop pyro convergence, and I'm like, okay, I pay for that every turn. And they're like, oh, well, never mind. I don't, I'm not gonna fucking do it. I mean, and sometimes it's just fucking terrible. I mean, I mean it's, it's really <laughs> yeah. not. It's, it's not a good. It's I've not never a had it. It's a not not very good. bad top deck. I've right? never. I yeah. Well, they, well I, it depends on what's on their side of the board. Because sometimes they just have a giant thing that they're not gonna like pay for every turn. Or sometimes yeah, they're not. Pay they're for not it, like winning you. with that thing directly. They yeah, can't hate. like so often though, there's just like stalemates, where you're just like, okay, well now I'm gonna soul tithe, you know that thing. Like, can you really afford to pay for that? Probably, if it's a stalemate, then Man, they're like, right. I think basically any time that I've had someone pay for it for five turns, I've won that game easily. I put, yeah. either it means they have nothing else to do and they're just gonna lose, or it means that they're. They're being an idiot. And I put it on a guy's desk. Here's the thing. Is it so it's either they have nothing to do and they're going to lose or they're stupid. Okay, like, but like... <laughs> the two situations when it's good. There's so many cards, though, going, that yeah, you have to... Play, I guess yeah, we can put it that way. <laughs> but there's a lot of shit that you have to answer that, like, there aren't other answers for it. Like, like somebody played Desecration Demon against me. And I'm like, well, I'll just, like, race him and soul tie it. And it, like, worked uh, fine. Just make sure never to put it on a token. I had somebody do that to me. That was pretty embarrassing. Did they? What, what were they? Did they actually think that would work, or did they just click something? I wrong? think they did think that would work. I just paid zero. Maybe <laughs> they just thought it was a removal spell. Yeah. And didn't read the text. Um, yeah, I've sided in Soul Tithe in sealed when I've sided into a second deck that happened to have been playing white, but I've never main decked the card. I will main yeah, deck all the main copies I get. I mean, it's not an embarrassing right. main deck. Card. I will main deck too. I don't. Care. The card's just like solid. It's, kind of it's not bad. It's like, it's not, if, I'm, if I'm light on early game... I don't think it's those things. I mean, I guess like, if I had a stack a... of arrests, I wouldn't need it, but, like, everyone's... You're pretty hard up for removal in these sets. Yeah, no, I agree. I agree with Vito here. Like, if, 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 you, if you don't... Like, instead of instead of trading your 2-drop for their 2-drop, you trade your Soul Tithe for their 2-drop yeah. for their 3-drop. It's fine. Yeah. It's just, like, if you don't have enough early game or you'd rather not trade your creatures, it's okay. What do you guys think about Goblin Rally? I don't like it. Uh, card's don't good. Like it? Card's good. I, I haven't it? been able to make it work. I always feel like everybody's you got... You just told me... Like, you, yeah, you half one ago. time I made it work! <laughs> <laughs> okay? Because I had, like, t multiple teleportals. 
What about Dyna Charge? You can Dyna Charge. I don't, That's even easier to do get. Do you guys run Dyna Charge? You don't even well, need the Goblin, Goblin Rally. Card. If you have Goblin Rally. So, yeah. Okay, so I, it's a card where I have to have a specific other card. I'm, <laughs> no, I'm playing. You can it. also just. It's it just four makes power dudes. For five. The fuck. It makes it's like a, shitty it's little like dudes oh, for five mana. Work. All right. With their powers combined, they're. Now, uh, I think it's even very good in the the defense of Izzet deck, where if you're just playing a bunch fair. of walls, you play these tokens to like, like yeah, to like stack up some damage. Their biggest guy, chump block. It gives you a lot of time for a very small amount of input on into your actual deck. I'm so mad that I never get to make Civic Saber work. I like oh, Civic yeah, Saber. me too. You know, I, I thought I'd be able to do Civic that. Saber deck the other I night. never, I never like have enough. It always seems like you get to the end of it, and you're like, oh, I guess like four of my guys are multicolored. I had double. I had double owl. Yeah. And dryad, whatever his name is, on uh, at was yeah. one drops, and then just like and the, on top of it, like three ethereal armors or whatever. And the only Civic, time, the only time I played down. it, uh, I had multiple. Is it weirds or whatever? Whatever frostburn weirds. I had, weird. frostburn. I had oh, four. Yeah, yeah. I had four frostburn weirds, and in the comments, someone's like, "Why are you running Civic Saber?" That card's garbage. And I'm like, did you not notice the fact that I have like a million like one fours and other multicolored yeah. things? Moving yeah, I've come to respect it in the, in 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 like a deck where you you have like six or seven like. It's very drops, hard to make that happen for think. some reason. Though. Yeah, it is hard to make it happen. Yeah. I don't. Well, uh, I think uh, this is how I'm thinking about it. Going back to the Rakdos deck, for instance. Yeah. The magic number you're trying surprise, to get surprise. by is four. The, the magic number of toughness is four. The magic yeah. number of your creatures is three for power. So even if it's just plus one plus zero oh on a random chain, don't mark, let people think that that means that that it's damn rhino is playable because it isn't. Oh, <laughs> I don't think the rhino is good. It's but got three right. power and four mm -hmm. toughness. But when you're playing a two drop, let's say chain walker, they put out some random trestle troll, let's say. Yeah. And then you go civic saber, or if you even played civic saber and on turn generate? one. Well, they can regenerate the turn no, after, but the point is, yeah. like, it, 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 does, it makes yeah. your guys big enough to push through the damage you need, even without the extra plus one from the color. Honestly, if I was, like, like full-on Selesnia making nothing but 3-3s, three I would put Civic Saber in, because it's making your 3-3 three three beat against these, like, four toughness guys. So, I, I'm going to I'm gonna amend that. Like, I don't think the magic number is three and four. I think no, that there's... Right. There's, a, there's, a, there's a step... Like, there, there there's threes, fours, and twos. There's a lot, like... Jumping from two power to three power is huge. Jumping from three power to four power is huge. They're both yeah. like getting your getting your two power guys to trade with centaurs is just as good as getting your centaurs to attack through. I mean, walls. four like, power is they're both good. Four power. I can agree with that. I don't know. Four power is so huge. I mean, that's why dead reveler is such a problem. But I, I feel like people look at civic saber. I mean, it's not that strong of an effect, but the effect it has on the game yeah. is much more than what it reads on the card. All right. You guys open any good mythic rares yet? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I had a pack yeah. with foil angel, regular angel. How about that? Oh, that sucks. <laughs> Pretty oh, sweet. it's good for me. I still got a foil angel. But... In, in in real life, I would put both of them in my stack and then pass the pack, <laughs> and then be like, "Oh, we must have missed the land or something." Gee whiz. I see. <laughs> I'm a dick. That's why I don't play real life magic. I can't deal with the idea of opening like awesome mythics. You guys play with Harad Gal Gari Lich Lord yet? Yeah, he's pretty no. good. Oh, man, he gives me such a boner. That card is great. <laughs> I haven't lost a single game where somebody's cast it against me. Really? But they've all been very close. Oh, I dropped it down. And I was just eating dudes. I was eating yeah. all I think the card's very good. I feel like you can't lose when you play it. I'm surprised play. the amount of I don't times. Know how. Yeah. I played against it three times, and I just haven't lost against it yet. Anytime yeah. I've seen it on the other side of the board, like I just want to scoop my cards up because yeah. I yeah. can't win. I'm surprised the amount of times I've managed to beat Niv Mazette. Uh, Niv Mizzet? I yeah. don't think Niv Mizzet is as good. Uh, well, uh, all right, he's good. Pretty goddamn saying. good. What? He's, he's insane. Good. What are you no, talking about? He's like five, five flyers. Yeah, but if you're behind, I, I played it. Uh, I have that PTQ this Saturday too, Josh. Um, in Seattle, obviously though. But I, I had Niv Mizzet in my yeah. pool. I cast it eight times, and I only won two of the games, even with the chemistry in my deck, you too. gotta, like, you gotta draw out the removal first, or something, or play those dispels. Well, yeah, I mean, you can definitely draw out your removal. It's definitely an insane card. What sucks is that he can't beatable. burn out guys and draw cards, so you're always in this, like, catch-22 of you're like, well... Yeah, it really sucks yeah. that you... Well, whatever, man! Like, if they got, like, a the board... Game, <laughs> like... <laughs> uh, I think the card's very like, insane. It sucks the card doesn't it's, say it's you win the like, game the when this resolves. Game. Uh, it's not the end of the game, obviously, when you cast it, but it's still very, very, very good. 
I, I was pretty happy when uh, I beat Isperia <laughs> Supreme. I don't know. I'm, I like, have not. I don't have a good story. So why would I even try to tell one? <laughs> uh, <laughs> all right. Well, I don't know. I've said pretty much everything I want to say about Return to Ravnica. Anybody else got some nuggets of wisdom? Oh, Josh wasn't here when we were talking about it before. What, what's your feeling on the set in terms of, you know, comparatively to other sets and all that? Oh, uh, I'm, I'm happy with it. It's It seems really You drafted every product. night like 18 times. I would yeah, and I'm like not bored it. yet, so that's saying something. Yeah, Jesus Christ. <laughs> we can't log on to your damn live stream without you not being on there. <laughs> well, it's only if it's really late. Like, Yeah. Yeah. Speaking of live streaming, you can see Josh live stream every goddamn night <laughs> at Twitch. Don't commit to that. And it might that might change. All right. Well, twitch.tv slash soulbush1. And at some point we're gonna get him on the official Draft Magic streaming channel, which we're starting to ramp up, which is at twitch.tv slash draft magic. Uh, hopefully gonna be like a front page thing. I know a guy yeah, at Twitch TV. I talked to him. He said, "Yeah, hey, if you can get the same numbers your buddy Josh is getting, I'll put you guys on the front page. Whatever." Uh, so keep looking for us live streaming. It's a ton of fun. Uh, anybody else got anything to say? All right, we'll do a favorite favorite card from Return to Ravnica. We'll go around. Derek. Uh, pack rat. Pack rat. That's his <laughs> oh, favorite it's card. The worst card. Yeah, it it's is the pretty worst bad. Card. Um, I don't know. Favorite card. Card you would be uh, most excited to open right now? Probably Mortars. Mizium Mortars? Pretty Mizium hard. Mortars I haven't opened good. a single Mizium Mortars. I'm pretty I'm pretty weirded out by that. Josh, do you have a card that you would be most excited to start off your well, draft with? Well, favorite card is Electromancer, but card I want to open is probably Cyclonic Rift or something. Cyclonic Rift? Yeah. Uh, all right. Marlin? Uh, let's see. Rare, probably... Uh, uh, getting not including like pack rat and like mythics and shit probably yeah. grove of the guardian uncommon celestial guild mage common centaur healer you're excited about grove of the guardian i had I that have, the other day I i've couldn't... had great experiences with that yeah card. that card's like, nuts every, every yeah. time i played with it it's been awesome because you can you just draft like because you you know when it's basically like an instant speed like 880 at the end of your their turn so like you untap with it so you make sure you have all these different populate tricks. Yeah. And then uh, you always, I mean, as long as you draft around it, you're always going to end up with like two or three, eight, eight vigilances. All right. It's just, it's a very good card. For me, it's got to be Lobster Crew. I, not the card I want to open. All right. Yeah. Cordoza, Cordoza Guild Mage. I will always win Mill Slam. That card is absurd. Yep. Uh, I want to get multiple lobsters to go with it. But if I had to open a cool Mythic Rare, I still haven't gotten Vraska, and I want a Vraska. That card is really cool. I have not seen it in play. Have you guys seen a Veraska in play? I won with Assassins. Yeah. You won with Assassins? I won with Assassins, God yep. Damn. And it, was, it wasn't even, like, gimmicky. It was, like, the correct way of doing things. You just, like, kept awesome. going up and making it Kept hurt. going up. They couldn't do anything and just won What with do you mean Assassins. they couldn't do anything? They couldn't slam in against it? Or were you uh, I think they were mass screwed or something, but oh, Well, good work then, I guess. <laughs> 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 Doesn't it blow, does it blow up just non-land permanence? Yeah, not land. Probably. Yeah, even though they just weren't hitting their lands, I and I was just taking it up lands. and attacking. Yeah, you really yeah. got it done, Josh. All right, that's been. I had been... Balls too and Shut stuff. up. This is the Draft Magic <laughs> Podcast, everybody. Thanks so much for listening. We're going to be drafting lots more. Return to Ravnica. So always check our website at draftmagic.com. This has been Vito Giswaldi, Marlon Egolf, Josh Derek, Frankel. Like... Nope, it's Derek. <laughs> Screw you, Josh. Oh. Yeah, yeah, okay, I'm All right, now it's you. And all that, right. all right, shut up. <laughs> and that's our podcast. Stop. <laughs> Woo. Cool. All right, that was good.